and welcome. My name is Stefan Eriksson, and today in this episode, we're going to be looking at two string and D string. So, what is that all about? Well, first of all, that is how you would convert between these two types of data. So, in general, we discussed in the previous video what characterizes a string variable and what characterizes a numeric. Now, suppose that for whatever reason, the data you have obtained needed to be converted either to a string variable or from a string variable over to numeric. One of the ways you can look at this is with the commands toString and dstring respectively. How we're going to show it? We're going to be using the example dataset as the other videos. So we're going to open the auto dataset, which we've done here, and we can go and simply take a look at it. In this case here, it is nicely stored in what we would deem to be the correct version, right? But suppose now for illustrative purposes, that of course we wanted to have miles per gallon as a string variable. Well, how would that go about? Here we can use the command toString. And how that would work? Let's take a look at the help file this time. So help to string. Then see what we get up here. Here you can also see that toString and dstring are indeed just two sides of the same coin. So the way you use one is the equivalent way of using the other one essentially. So in this case here, we want to convert it to a string. So how it works is we type the command toString, we insert a variable list, which is simply in our case will be miles per gallon. And here it says we either have to specify, because of the asterisk, either we have to generate a new variable, which would then contain this numeric variable, or we would have to replace the old variable, of course. So let's try for this time here, just to replace it, right? So now we're going to replace our miles per gallon, the numeric version, with an equivalent but string version, right? So let's go and try that out. So we can write two string and then miles per gallon. And of course, in our case, we're going to have to replace it. We wish to replace it. We could, of course, generate a new one. So now we say it was an integer. Now it's a string of length two. So let's go in and check this out. Indeed, it turns red. For those of you who are unfortunately colorblind, you can always see the type over here as well, or use describe as a command we showed in a previous video to show it, of course. Now, suppose now we want to need it back again, then of course we can just use the dstring command. So we can use dstring and then miles per gallon, and of course we will have to replace it again, unless we want to make a new variable such that we have two of the same, just in different formats. So, as we can see here, all characters of numeric replaced as byte. Okay, fine, fine, let's go and look at it again. Now, indeed, we have something that is numeric yet again. It's not integer, but for that, we can always just encode as an integer if we wish to. But a byte in this case here wouldn't make a difference because they're both still numeric. So, that's how we would uh, switch between the two. But there's one more thing I would like to take a look at. So, let's go back to the help file. So, we go to a two string, for instance, and we just see what can we find here. There's this nice extra option called force, which I sometimes use. It says here indeed, convert non-numeric strings to missing values. So what does that actually mean? So if you have a non-numeric string, which simply just means suppose we are to convert a string that would consist of characters. So now let's look at this one here, like this one here, but suppose there would be a character in here and well, that would be unfortunate if we want to convert it to numeric, then it wouldn't work because what would it do? What, is, what the force option does, it simply goes, well, it ignores it. It forces it through simply like the option name would suggest such that if we would have in between all these numerics, a non-numeric option, or in other words, if this would have been a string, which we could make it a string, let's make it a string again. So we say two string, just like before, miles per gallon, and we're just going to replace it. Actually, let's just try and generate it. That would be fun. Miles per gallon, two. Now we have a new miles per gallon variable here. Oh, there we go. So see right next to the old one. Suppose now in here, we're going to go to the edit mode. Suppose now we have one of them that will be just called, well, high, as an example. So now this is a string high. If I were to convert this back now, then this will give me an error. However, if I put force in, it would simply say here, okay, this would just be converted to a missing observation regardless. So let's try and convert this back as miles per gallon two and see what happens when I put in the force command here. So now I want a dstring miles per gallon two. And then of course we're gonna replace, so we still have a miles per gallon two. And of course I wanna use the option force. 
And you'll see it generates one missing value. Let's go and take a look at it. I'm going to go back here and see indeed it becomes a missing value. And that's indeed how this two string and D string, which for instance, the force option would work. That was all I have to you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time. <laughs>